All right, here's our timeline. Once again, duration is three minutes and 53 seconds. The entire event will take two and a half hours. And that's from the first contact to the last contact. Um, and this is, um, it begins at 1.59 uh, p.m. And then we're gonna have the full eclipse begins at 3.13 maximum. Um, we'll talk about what happens at maximum. And then full eclipse ends at 3.17. Um, so it's really important to keep that timeline in, um, in your mind because um, we always have to talk about safe solar viewing. And then the entire event ends at 4.28. Okay, so there's five stages. Real quick here, it all begins when that first, we have first contact, when we first see the moon crossing over the face of the sun. Um, and then we get into second contact when the moon covers the entire disk of the sun. And then we get into maximum. Um, by the way, just right before um, we get to maximum, uh, let me just mention, um, how many of you viewed through the solar telescopes today when you came in? Did anybody view? So some of you may have um, one of the hydrogen alpha telescopes. You could actually see the prominences um, coming off the limb of the sun, which was pretty cool. But during um, totality, right before totality, we're going to see what we call the diamond ring effect. So it'll be that last blast of light. And then there's something else called Bailey's beads, where if you've ever seen the moon um, in a telescope, it's very ragged around the edges because of the valleys and mountains. Well, the sunlight is still hitting those valleys as the moon continues to cross over the sun. So you see that reflection, and we call that Bailey's bead. So, um, and then uh, third contact is when um, we start to see the diamond effect, uh, diamond ring effect reverse, and then we get out of the eclipse for fourth contact. Um, so here's the sequence. So you can see the diamond ring effect. And then during maximum, we're actually able to see the sun's atmosphere or corona. And then you can see the diamond ring effect reversed on the other side. And so this is an illustration. So you can see, OK, you're seeing that flash of light, diamond ring effect. And then you can kind of see right here uh, where I mentioned Bailey's beads. So that's at that reflection off the valleys of the surface of the moon, that last, last light. And this is a sequence. So you see how you see the diamond ring? And you can see the Bailey's, Bailey's beads a little bit. And then the corona, of course, the atmosphere is just is as a sight to see. Um, this is a really close up, this is a phenomenal image of, this is totality. Um, I think you can recognize the moon right here. And then this is the atmosphere of the sun, the corona. And this is really important to scientists. Um, they'll come from all over because they want to see that point of totality because they want that gives them a chance to really study the corona of the sun at that point um, because they can research and, and determine a lot of things at that point. Um, so that's very important. But what, what a sight that is going to be to see. And then we have totality. We'll see the corona. We'll see diamond ring, Bailey's beads. But guess what? We're going to see a couple planets too. So I, of course, when I... You know, I said, okay, April 8th, I got to look and see um, what planets are out there that day. And we got the Bonanza because we have two of the brightest planets, Jupiter and Venus, are going to be out there. So when totality um, takes over and it gets very dark, um, we should be able to see Venus and also Jupiter because it'll be dark enough. And those are really brilliant planets. So. We should be able to pick them up when we're observing uh, totality. So that's, that's really exciting because um, I was hoping we'd get to see some planets, but we got two of the best ones we can um, to see. All right. So all the big questions, of course, what is the weather going to be like? Everybody always asks me, oh, well, 
Um, either it's going to be a bright blue sky day or a blizzard or a storm. So we just don't know. We have to leave it up to Mother Nature. Um, I can tell you that I've seen satellite imagery for the last five years on April 8th. And uh, four of those five years, we've, we've had partly cloudy or mostly sunny skies. So we'll, we'll keep our fingers crossed. Um, but this is very important to folks that are traveling to uh, watch the eclipse, is how much cloud cover different locations have. Um, so actually, right up here along the lake shore, um, we're sort of in that lighter green. So we have, we have kind of better viewing than most areas in Ohio right up along the lake shore. So that's a, that's a good sign. So we'll just, once again, we'll keep our fingers crossed. All right, so uh, if any of you did observe through this, the uh, solar telescopes, um, one of the biggest things besides traffic, safety logistics, is what we're all working on right now, is safely viewing. This is a big, big, big deal. All those telescopes, either they were a certain type of telescope, like a hydrogen alpha, or they had a special filter on the end of the tube. Never, ever, ever, and I tell folks all the time, you should never look at the sun with your eyes, absolutely never with binoculars, and never, ever, ever, ever with a telescope, unless you have a safe solar telescope or you have, and you, you can come up after the presentation and look and see how, th how this is designed. You're not seeing any light coming through here. Or um, we were giving out solar glasses today. So these are great. There's a certain code, and I'll show you that in a second. So never, ever, ever, ever with binoculars, telescope, camera, or eyes. This is all of our, yes, this is the way you want to view. All right, so here's, here's the solar glasses. And once again, very, very important. And we are stressing this. And the ones that you uh, were able to pick up today, um, you'll notice a code right here. This is what you want to see on any glasses. Or if you know anyone that's going to be purchasing glasses, it's very important that they have that code. That means that they're certified. They're the proper type of solar, teles of solar uh, glasses to um, use during the solar eclipse. 